Oh, That's yeah. right, Stephen. What's poppin'? It's 1030. That means it's time for Celebrity Dish. And I'm so excited to welcome back one of our faves. You know him, Richie Stein. I'm glad to be oh. back. Oh, where have you been? You know, just traveling a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> where, 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 where have you been lately? I went to Switzerland and Italy. Wow. It, was, it was much needed. So stamps and passports. That's stamps what and passports. Was it MasterCard with the catchphrase, everywhere you want to be? Which, I mean, what, you know, that's where he's been. Everywhere we want to wherever be. Wherever y'all take me. There's levels to the game. <laughs> All right. Speaking of levels, booked and busy, literally, you got a new yes. book? Yes, I'm super excited. So <sighs> it's nice to be back here with you celebrating the second book release because I was here with mm, you the first time I for remember. the first book. And this is so special to me because I feel like to write your own book. Like, it's a lot of work. People don't realize that, but I'm super excited. It is out now on Amazon.com. It's wow. about a news personality, so you guys can relate, who okay. decides to do a reality TV show to rebuild her career. And there's oh. murder, mystery, intrigue, all of the above that takes place. And book two takes things even further. Mm. Lots of mess. Is it Lots messy? Of mess. Okay, you know, I well, like that. A lot of mess. <laughs> it's the, reality TV. Come the on. cover yeah. looks fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. You. We're I wanted it to feel deadly and suspenseful. Yeah, mm. you got my but also attention. beautiful at the same time. Okay. Yeah. You're going right. to talk more on Lion Lunch Hour yes. at 11.15 about that and everything else that you're, you're on uh, and working on. So you want to get into some reality TV Let's stuff? Got to start it. with All it. Right. Let's do Another it. cash shakeup for the Potomac Housewives. Producer Chris is here to start things off. And it sounds like one of his character, that's, that's, Similar to a real-life <laughs> person on the Potomac. Could be. Mm -hmm. That's right. But this is the third cast member we can officially say is no longer a part of the franchise. We're talking about Neka Haheem officially won't be part of the next season. That will be the ninth season. She is the third cast member, like I said, to depart the show since season eight wrapped up. Her exit comes as the Potomac resident continues on her journey to have a child. She thanked Bravo and Truly Original for the opportunity and continued on saying she built lifetime friendships. So Richie, are you surprised by any of the exits so far? Absolutely not. Um, I think we knew about Ineka, unfortunately, yeah. earlier on because the Jasmine brand had reported that. And I, I just, I rely on them. I, I, they're a reliable source. They so the they yeah, got they the do. scoop on Robin. So I just felt like for me, I wish she just would have owned it earlier because she went on a lot of news outlets and she talked about, she talked around it. People were asking her directly. So, you know, I do think that she, it's an unfortunate loss because we didn't really get to see, I think, all that she really had to offer as a housewife. So it's really unfortunate, but I think we kind of knew it was coming. I noticed that too, as well as the press tour, even in other cities. And I went, well, is she doing this to change their mind mm. or does she not know? These are good questions. You know? I asked the same things. I said, is this to sort of sway viewer, yeah. like well, at least get some reaction from the viewers and then maybe the network will change their minds. But I don't think it was in the cards for her. What do you think was the moment that tipped it for her that everybody was just kind of like, you know what, this is not going to work? I think that there were some unfortunate cultural aspects to the storyline this season that mm -hmm. overshadowed her personal story. And so when you have something like that happen, the viewers really don't get a chance to know you as right. well. Yeah. And I think that sometimes you have to look at production, you have to look at what the network wanted to do, and you have to ask yourself, was it the right combination? Did she get a proper introduction? And I don't think that she did. The whole I mean, there are people, matters. yeah, to your point, saying they wish that they had learned some things about her that she shared on interviews exactly. on the actual show. And I do think that beef or um, alleged beef between uh, she and Dr. Wendy... Yeah. Yeah. kind of ruined her whole storyline in terms of us actually getting to, yeah. to know yeah. her. So yeah. that was unfortunate. Hopefully it won't happen to the newbies this time around. I know. I mean, I always feel like you have to give a person at least two seasons yeah. because that will allow you to get used to being on reality TV and mm -hmm. then begin to learn how to really navigate it in your second season. A big adjustment. Yeah. Well, we yeah. love NECA. She gave Good Day DC her first ever uh, TV interview. So, so we are thankful That's for good. that. That's good. She should. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hey, <laughs> Chris. <laughs> All right. Speaking of reality stars, let's talk about Love is Blind star Clay now. Steven teased this going to break. He just went Instagram official with a YouTube slash only fans model there okay the reality star moved on from experimenting with love and marriage and apparently he is now dating a woman named selena powell you see the headline right there on the jasmine brand the new couple posted a video together kissing and cuddling captioning it quote life lately marissa yes did ad dodge a mess with this one absolutely 
Alex, I, I've never met Clay, but it, but it, it's giving exposure. I, I, I want to be out there. Yes. I want to capitalize on this fame. My mm -hmm. 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, I love AB. I'm happy for her. Girl, you go, girl, <laughs> for dodging that bullet. But it, it seems desperate and thirsty. It does. It does come across that way simply because Selena has been in the news so much for so many other things. Yes. And not a lot of them have been perceived as good things. Mm -hmm. So to go from a show like Love is Blind where you're attempting to find the love of your life, somebody that you're going to be with for the rest of your life, and then to kind of maneuver in that direction, it does feel thirsty. Yeah. And it Carla never hungry. forgets an address. That's something that my wow, <laughs> auntie now, told preach. me. That is deep. And so for him to leave, <laughs> that that like, it always comes back around because to get down the aisle, the, you know, the wedding day, and the, the, the cancel on her like that, and, and I feel like mislead her, he'll get his in due time. Well, if you look at the video, I mean, she's in bed, they're in bed, she's in a white t-shirt, very exposed, right? Uh, but there's a full face of makeup, so it does seem staged, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> as, as natural as you can possibly be in a makeup with low lighting. Um, I, I really think that there's a challenge here because he's so fresh and so new to the scene. She has a storied past. I don't know if he's feeding off of her or she's feeding off of him. I don't know, and I think there's a challenge there. Well, there were red flags with him in the beginning. To be honest with you, episode uh, t one or two of the mm -hmm. season, I felt like... That one. No, no, no. He's not the one. He's not the one. But we, we wish him well, but I'm, I'm we glad do. for AD that she doesn't have to deal with him anymore. And I also still have such a soft spot for his mother, and I hope that she yeah. has a message for him as well to get his act together. Let's talk about Drake and Kendrick Lamar again now, because we know the beef continues. We also may be able to officially crown a winner, but first, let's talk a little bit more about the drama behind it, because Drake allegedly <laughs> paid a friend of Kendrick Lamar's $150,000 for any information on Kendrick Lamar's fiance, Whitney Alford. However, that rapper, Cooley Bravo, admitted that he gave Drake false information after getting that money. So, a true friend to Kendrick Lamar, at least. The two, however, like I said, they're seeing some success one a little more than other, and that's where that crowning a winner may officially come in. Yesterday, Billboard reported that Kendrick Lamar is not like us, debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. This was the rapper's latest diss track in the ongoing feud. Drake's song, Family Matters, debuted at number seven on the same chart. So we had all pretty much crowned Kendrick Lamar the winner anyway, and now the charts back it up, guys. Yeah, I mean, look, there was just no competition here. Drake did not come back fast enough. Uh, there were just so many missed moments and missed opportunities on Drake's part. Uh, I think now that we know, or at least we allegedly know, that there is somebody in his camp that gave over information that was false, uh, I think that even makes the story even more yep. worse. Because Drake came back and said, well, listen, you didn't do your research. I gave you false information, or at least he says he did. Uh, I don't think that that's the case. But I do think that Kendrick is at the height of his career. And I think this is the moment where... Drake may not be able to come back from this. You agree with that? I, uh, I think he'll be able to come back from it because I think that there are Drake fans who are just going to oh, be yeah, Drake there's fans and they're going to always think that he's number one in their eyes. Mm -hmm. But you know the thing that I hate the most is that the fiance had to catch a stray in this. Yeah. Like that to me mm -hmm. is the most bothersome part is like all these other people are catching like heat from this beef, and that's what I really don't like. Keep it, like, y'all can keep yeah. it with each other. You don't have to extend it to fiancés and friends and paying people. Like, that, to me, it goes beyond what a rap beef should be. Yeah, but and the, kids yeah, used as, like, as props, not really, like, in these crazy. But nothing is off limits in beef rap, we know that. We've seen that in years and years of past with beef. Uh, it just got a little bit more messy here because there is so much involved. These two have so much material to go over. But when it came to the fiancé, that was the only thing he can really attack uh, Kendrick on because yeah. Kendrick has had such a tight career for mm -hmm. so many years. His family is tight. His community is tight. He's actually very successful. So it's hard to come back and say, listen, <laughs> I found this information on you. <laughs> I don't think they had that to give. And he's, uh, Kendrick is authentic. Yeah. So Kendrick too. is really, mm -hmm. honestly, just authentic hip-hop. Yeah. And I don't think you can ever deny that. Well, one right. thing I did not see coming, I always thought he was a stronger lyricist, right? Yes, Drake is more commercially successful, yeah. but he beat Drake at his own game by coming out with a bop. Normally, we get the bops from Drake. Yes. Yeah. So this most recent one is something you can dance to. People are creating line dances, yeah. and it's going to be the song of the summer. You, you mentioned it the other day, uh, Chris, and so for that... I think it's clear he's the, the winner in this. Yeah. 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 On all fronts.
All right, we can talk about this all yeah, day yeah, because yeah, you yeah. know I'm, I'm, I'm okay, a stand of Kendrick. So. And he has four songs in the top ten. Kendrick yeah, does. Not, on Bill not, not bad, right? And Especially no when it comes Ooh. to having to prove in this sort of situation. All right, guys, we're going to wrap things up with a kids' movie and talking about Chris Pratt's wife's hall pass. I know it doesn't make much sense, but bear with me here on this. So Chris Pratt is promoting the new kids' movie, the animated comedy, the comic strip Garfield, okay? And he was asked about his wife's hall pass. But this all goes back even further to the Super Bowl, okay? Because he had talked about it then. So Pratt's been married to Katherine Schwarzenegger for five years, in case you didn't know. He says the one person she can hook up with his permission is Usher. And so the Marvelverse actor dropped that major hint back in February because he posted a video of his wife dancing during the Super Bowl halftime show, which we know Usher was the Super Bowl halftime entertainer. In the caption of his Instagram post, he wrote, don't leave your girl around me. Was he talking to me? He now says, quote, she knows every word of Usher's song, so I guess Usher's her hall pass. Now, Marissa, my script says, who would your hall pass be? That's what the script says. That's oh, what the script says. Um, I'm obligated to ask as a result. <laughs> okay, so if, if I'm booed up with somebody, somebody I would say it's okay. Who do okay? you have to tell them? Yes, hey, this I'm is sorry, but pass. if the chance comes along. Oh, Denzel. I'm it. Okay. Denzel, wait, no wait, wait. question. Denzel? Yes. 70 year old Denzel? It doesn't matter. It doesn't wow. matter. <laughs> if I won, <laughs> I will close my eyes and think back to glory days. It's still oh, Denzel. Wow. Uh, we can take it back to the 90s, but yes, Denzel. It, it, it'll be a training well, day for know. sure. I don't know. Have you seen Equalizer 3? I mean, he could. Still that makes me himself. want him more. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no. yeah. Um, anybody. <laughs> Much respect to his <laughs> wife. <laughs> anybody in your age bracket? Um, well, Morris is older, too. I don't know. I lean to. to oh, mm. I like older guys. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's interesting. We learned a little bit about Marissa today. Classics. That's we a good way to learn a little bit. We love well, putting Marissa on the hot seat, don't, don't we, Chris? I love your hall passes. <laughs> you all go around. We have a few seconds left. Okay. Oh, no, that's a trick question. That is a trick question. I answered it. <laughs> no, but this was, the script said you had I know, but it was perfect right. for you. Chris, you ask him You know what, guys? I think we're out of time. There we go. There we go. No fair. No fair. And he runs the show, so yes, absolutely we're out of time. Yeah, Denzel, I'll keep it there. Classics. Well, I was going to keep it real. The All classics. Right. Good to have you, Richie. Richie always good See you on my lunch hour. All right. All right. And best of luck on the book. Yes. We're excited about it. Thank you. Jacqueline and Annie Mae. They'll mm -hmm. tell me. Wow, y'all.